Morning. Good morning. <laughs> it actually um, was a little too quick. Uh, suddenly it was 9.30 and yep. we had to get started. That's right. I said it's 9.30. Uh, oh, yeah. no. We were chit-chatting about your sister. We were. Yeah. Oh, of course, we can't talk about your sister because no. behind her back. Oh, well, we could you know, talk about her, but, you know, <laughs> she was quite excited. Yeah. Her sister just got a new um, job offer. And the unfortunate thing about it is she has to leave Victoria. Yeah. So she'll be moving up island. Yes. But that, and that's also good. As that's well. also good. You know, overall, yeah. sounds like she's going to be closer to your mom too. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I think that's really great. Yes. So, hello everyone. Looks like we have three viewers, so that means mm -hmm. that we are, everything is working. Everything's working, <laughs> yes. We never know until we see the viewers. <laughs> yeah. We have to make yeah. sure that people are here. <laughs> exactly. Are able to get to us. And actually, yeah. we haven't had too much trouble. You know, when we had trouble was when I didn't have, like there's a, what they call a stream key that has to be entered into the streaming software mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i i would rely on it um being memorized yes but now i just don't rely on the memorization of the yeah. key i just put in the new key every time i yeah. start my program yeah and that really <clears throat> it, it helps works. a lot yes happy yeah. friday exactly jane happy. sawyer nice to see you and uh, loretta, hello. loretta good morning loretta loretta you're first yeah <laughs> It's always fun to see who comes on board first. <laughs> They're really quite often this first. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> Just jumps on it right there. Um, I always find it uh, fascinating to find out how do you know where to go on what device on how to enter into this live mm. thing. Because mm -hmm. I've never done it. Yeah. <clears throat> and I really should try it with some other mm -hmm. website or some other Facebook groups so that I can, but I don't know of any yeah. that do this. <laughs> that do live streams? No. <laughs> Like it would that. be really nice to know because I don't know what you see. Like on an iPad will be different than on, on your phone. Exactly. And yes. I discovered that half the people on our group, half, like 50%, are watching us on their phones. Oh. Okay. That is huge. That's huge. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a pretty see, good I've, thing, though. I've watched it on my laptop. And right. Basically, I go to Facebook, and then I go to groups, and I wait until you come live. And then what happens? What do then you I see? Have to, I have to click when it says live. I have to oh, click on it. Oh, so some yeah. little notification comes up. Yeah. But it, it doesn't come up unless you're in the group? Unless, uh, for me anyways, unless you're in the uh, BS chat group. Oh. And then you can see it says live on there. And then I just. So it's in the discussion group that it says yeah. live. Yeah. And that's the, like, it's kind of like. Um, a post? Yeah, it's of? like a post yeah. like in the mm -hmm. in the group itself. Yeah. Okay, well this is interesting. Thank you for telling me because you know yeah. it's always fascinating to know. And that's on your laptop which yes. is an Apple. Which is an Apple. And yeah. of course I've only got my phone which is Android and my yeah. computers which are PC. So, you know, Windows based, etc. So I'm kind of thinking that it's probably similar. I think it's probably similar, yes. You know. Yeah. Anyway, I know it's probably totally uninteresting yeah. to all of you. <laughs> well, Loretta says she watches on her iPhone. There you go, yeah. on your phone. You know what I like about that, though? Is that our faces are much smaller. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Very true. And all the wrinkles yeah. and everything and all the blemishes. They, they don't, they show, don't up. show up as much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thanks for watching us on your phone, everyone, whoever is. And now I'm going to go and, sit and go back and say hello to everyone. Jane, we already said hello. Yeah. And Loretta, of course. And Marsha Buckingham. Marcia. Hello. Yeah. And uh, Kathy, Kathy Bird. Norma, good morning. Kathy. Hola, Marley. Thank you. From Brazil, springtime. Yeah, I guess it is. Loretta says it's chilly, 63 degrees in Ooh, Philadelphia. Oh, 63 sounds nice. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> and Loretta says she watches on her iPhone. So, okay, so yeah. this is the first question of the day. Anyone can answer this. What do you watch us on? Yeah. What are you right what now? Device? What device exactly? Sorry. Yeah. What device? Whether it's mobile um, and whether it's Apple or PC or um, uh, tablet or yeah. um, phone, desktop, or phone. Yeah. Desktop, laptop, phone, and tablet. Those yeah. are the three. Yeah. And yeah. what kind? Yes. Whether you're <laughs> on either an okay. Apple, an Apple, or, or a non Apple. Non Apple. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, sure. Okay, so there's one. There's an answer. It's laptop. Jane says an iPad. But Patricia, I need to know what kind of laptop. Is it a like a Windows-based laptop, or you know, is it a laptop that belongs to Apple? 
because we have difficulty sort of knowing what everyone's using, but this is going to be an informal poll mm -hmm. to let us know what is it you're watching us on, the, the kind, like an Apple or a non-Apple, and what type of uh, device. Thank you, Diane Thibodeau, Jane, iPad, great. Laptop yeah. for Patricia, which we don't know yet, and Kathy's watching on an Apple laptop. You and Kathy have the same yeah. computer. Because, you know, I have... Uh, Hers these... is probably much um, newer than mine. No, I think, <laughs> I think just about anybody's is newer than yours. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and Norma likes watching on her iPhone and her iPad. Okay, okay. good. Thank you. That's great. Because that now I've got sort of an idea and an over... Okay, Windows laptop. Yeah. Okay, Patricia's in my camp. Yeah. <laughs> well, I started with, um, um, I guess, PCs. And, yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, and then when I started to think about getting a phone, I thought, well, it doesn't coordinate very well if I use an iPhone and PC laptop yeah. or desktop. Yes. So yeah. I just wanted to stick with the Android. And, you know, yeah. personally, I'm very glad I did, partly because it's really good for business because you've got a lot more uh, abilities and options mm -hmm. and saving files and where you want to save them and this, stuff. This is true. I haven't figured out how to save files. And I've had my MacBook for over 10 years. So. And the thing yeah. is that it may be possible. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it is. I just never had... To do it. To do it. Yeah, exactly. And so everyone has their own favorite mm -hmm. favorites. And it depends on what it is you're doing with it. And I needed a lot of, um, uh, what do you call that, um, ability to get behind the scenes. Yeah. Programming yeah. is not quite what it's called because I don't program. But, you know, I need to be yeah. able to find things. Find, and, find things yes. be behind the scenes. The scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I really am glad that I am where I am. But on the other hand, I do have an iPad, just like standalone, like it mm -hmm. doesn't integrate with anything else. And I do like my iPad. Yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. I use my iPad every day at work. And it's great for um, like watching movies or Absolutely. playing games. Yeah. I, I watch it. Netflix every day. I, yes, you do. I do. <laughs> at 1.30. And you better not come into the office when you're doing it either. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. <laughs> No, I think that myself, because I don't like being interrupted when I'm watching a Netflix show. <laughs> Tanya says, hello, everyone. I missed last week. Yay! Cal California vacation. Mm, very nice. That sounds like fun. Did you go to L.A., Tanya? Um, Marley says, Windows laptop. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And uh, you're in my corner as well. Uh, I don't see anyone else, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer the question. <laughs> Nobody has to answer. <laughs> Just interesting to find out what you're watching this stream on. So if you think about it in a little while, maybe you can type it in mm -hmm. if you have the time. Because, yeah. you know, some people I've heard listen to us as they're driving. Oh, yes. Well, Tammy usually does that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so basically, you know, I guess you put it on in your car. I guess so, you yeah. stick it on the yeah. dashboard somehow, and then you're just li yeah. listening. Let's like, like a radio check. <laughs> Uh, then says, I'm here on my Samsung phone. Me too, I got a yeah. Samsung phone. Maybe. Using Facebook Lite, exactly, yeah. so that you can tick a tick in yeah. there. Haven't been here for a couple of weeks, I know. Back now live, yay. Yeah. <laughs> I have caught up, I'm so glad. It's nice to see your face again, Ben Burton, or rather your name, I guess mm -hmm. we'll call it. Yes. Anyway, so chit-chatting is over for now, and the mm -hmm. reason we chit-chat is because it takes time for people to come on board, and we yeah. like to leave five or ten minutes, and what yeah. is it now, nine yeah. minutes? Yeah, nine minutes. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so that's why we don't talk about stitching right away. Mm -hmm. We have had a really, really exciting and busy week. We certainly have, yes. More Lisa than me, because I'm still recovering. My foot still mm -hmm. needs to be up a lot of the time. Uh, apparently above my heart yeah um it is healing <laughs> yeah, not necessarily following that <laughs> i find it so hard to not move around it gets me so depressed well you did so. for the first basically five almost six weeks no no i would say i didn't move around for four weeks four weeks yeah okay. i gotta be honest okay and then after that i started hobbling yeah um because you know you go around in your kitchen and what i was doing was using a um um, knee scooter and, yeah knee scooter, scooter knee scooter and it was great but that knee scooter it's so hard to get like if you're in my kitchen you have to go from here to there yeah. to there to there to there to there and turning that scooter and I had to remember what did I need to bring to the fridge what did yeah. I need to take out of the fridge yeah and everything took four times as long not just two times as long 
so anyway, I just started hobbling between <laughs> with a, with a cane because I couldn't use the the crutches, the crutches so easily mm -hmm. either in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And um, so I've been bad, and I'm going to go on Monday and find out um, how bad I've been. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he probably won't even notice. I hope not, because yeah. I, I hate being dressed <laughs> down by a surgeon. <laughs> anyway, it's yeah. healing. It's going better, yeah. and the swelling has gone down quite a bit, which is wonderful. Yes. So yeah. I just it All goes good, as quickly as it goes. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Tanya says Carmel in San Francisco and Paso Rublos. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Paso Rublos. No. But I've been to Carmel and San Fran. Mm -hmm. Wow, those must be beautiful. And Jean Morrison is on her Windows laptop and her Samsung phone. That's exactly what I have. <laughs> uh, Dorothy says, hello, good morning, dear friends. That's good so morning, nice Dorothy. to hear. Oh, now that Dorothy's here, we can do this. Oh, you want to do an angel press? Yeah, you want gonna... me to hold it? Or are you, are you going to do it? I'm not looking. I'm not okay. looking. You're not looking. Okay. okay. Here is... The message from the angels. Take time to meditate. Okay, yeah. so that is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know those of you who meditate, and it can be anything from just being quiet for like five minutes to an hour or two of, you know, sitting in the, in the pose and having the hands just right and having your eyes gaze down unfocused in front of you three to four feet. I mean, I know all the rules. I don't have the discipline. <laughs> <laughs> That's what meditation's supposed to be for. <laughs> no. no. Anyway, it's it is a good thing and it's healthy. It's really good for your brain uh, to meditate. Um, there's a lots of scientific evidence now. Not religious based meditation mm -hmm. is excellent, actually excellent for coordinating all the different parts of your brain so that they become a little less jangled. Mm. Which I don't know about you, but that can happen to me at a moment's I, I, notice. Yeah, that's true. I could use it with a little less jangling at the moment. Yeah. Well, they say start with five, ten minutes. I mean, what's that? Five, mm -hmm. ten minutes. Probably just enough time for your dogs to come and bug you. <laughs> yes. Or my husband. <laughs> or, <yeah. laughs> or any one of those things. Well, anyway. Uh -huh. So, meditate. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, and also it really increases creativity which you may mm -hmm. or may not uh, mm -hmm. realize, but scientifically it's shown that it's you shown. Are, yeah. Yeah, you're more creative when you have meditated for a little length of time. In other words, 10 minutes uh, for, for a week mm -hmm. straight, every mm -hmm. day, 10 mm -hmm. minutes. Dorothy says, I ordered some printed leaflets a week ago and I haven't received a shipping notice yet. We are running that far yeah. behind. That far behind. Thank yeah. you, Dorothy, <laughs> for bringing it up because yeah. after we've done the card now, we do have to talk about our exciting yeah. week. Yeah. So when we started with the <laughs> with the grab was it, bag was it Tuesday? offer Tuesday Tuesday yeah. the grab bag offer oh my goodness I thought we were maybe gonna maybe give out or sell um, 50. 50 at the most I'm sorry yeah. but we didn't even make more than fifty yeah we we were totally unprepared for the yeah. quantity and yeah. so we actually literally had to stop it at hundreds and yeah. hundreds so we are trying madly to catch up with not just shipping them but also mailing them and we decided yeah i haven't sh shipped anything yet no yeah. so we decided we were going to prepare all of the ones that yeah. are, have been ordered, ordered then start shipping them because yeah. you know you can ship some they can ship some more so we will be sending out an email or i will <clears throat> yeah to make sure that everyone knows that the shipping date is a little bit delayed yes apologies yeah. but my goodness i didn't know it was going to be so popular yes the other thing is because we noticed that there were so many people who were clamoring and emailing and mm -hmm. where can I get my grab yeah. bag? Apparently I didn't even put a link in the in the notification. But a lot of people found it anyway. So yeah. <laughs> so sorry about not having a link in the email. But um, after we've done this um, this batch, yeah. we'll call it this batch. Yeah. We plan on making more and offering them again, but yeah. this time we will make them ahead of time. Absolutely. So they can be shipped. Yeah. Yeah. So that <laughs> will probably won't be until mid October. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I hope that answers your question. Ah, mm -hmm. Carol Lamont is here. Uh, Marty says, afternoon, snow, snow flurries. Are you mm -hmm. kidding? First snow, first snow. That looks like a, a kind of like an alert, like an emergency alert yeah. there, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> I had heard that because there's a hurricane about to hit um, Atlantic Canada and that it could get snow mixed in with the hurricane. Well, you guys yeah. take care, batten the hatches. Yeah. And, you, you know, thank you for giving us that 
update. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're all sorry for you. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, that is so. Like, yeah. I guess weather is weather these days. Weather is weather. I mean, we've had a sudden change ourselves this morning. It's actually sprinkling out there. So I know we have had yeah. summer up until yesterday. The summer up until yesterday, but summer didn't really start until mid July. So, so you true. Know, we had two months of summer. So. Yeah, it was pretty good. And I guess we're going to get it back again for. An, what we used to call Indian summer, which yeah. is apparently no longer a politically correct way yeah. of saying things. Yeah. But anyway, the later part, the autumn yeah. for us is also <laughs> a bit summery. Yes. So anyway, so that's what's going on from our um, huge yeah. um, ordering session, you guys. And we had to stop. When was it? About 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Something like that. Yeah, it was only available, I think, four hours. Four, four hours. Four hours, yeah. We're so shocked. Oh, I was. I don't yeah. think you were. No, I wasn't. She was <laughs> <laughs> And we are going to include as much as we can in each bag. This is not a profit-making thing for us. No. Trust me. No. We're, I think we're losing money on the whole yeah. thing, but that's but okay. That's okay, right? Because we want to be sure that someone uses our stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't want to go to the landfill, so we're getting a little bit um, for each bag so that Lisa can keep working and doing these things yeah. because she still needs to be paid. Yes. So it helps our overhead. I, I, I like to get paid <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> yeah, she's not paid nearly as much as she's worth. So, But what she's paid, she'd like to, you know, I, I like be to paid. get it. Yes. So we get it yeah. from uh, the actual sale of each of those bags. But what you get in there, I think it's over 150 I think so. Dollars yeah. at least yeah. US. Yes, exactly. We're also behind on the printed yeah. leaflets. Although oh, yeah. um, they are ready to go out, so as soon as there's bags to, that are done, then everything will go out at the same yeah. time and we will just um, have these uh, go through this. We even had to get our kit makers to be involved. Yeah. yeah. Ah, Lynn says, I was hoping to get a grab bag, but the postage to the UK was so high. I don't know if it really is that expensive. It in. is. It is really expensive. But, yeah. you know, the post office is what the post office is. Yeah. Canadian yeah. post office has been pretty good for um, the UK, but it depends on what um, amount. The weight. The, the weight. weight of the package. And the size of the yeah, package. And the size of the package. And quite often, what you're getting charged is less than what we're paying. Oh, so. that's been <laughs> for the last year. Yeah. You guys are probably paying less than what we're paying in postage yeah. for all the orders. Doesn't yeah. matter what they are, and we just have accepted that that's the yeah. way it is for us because we don't want to up your postage anymore. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our last sending out, though. So if you want those things, it may be worth it because the actual ingredients of the grab bags yeah. uh, may be worth it to you to pay for the postage. Yes. So don't think that you're getting twenty dollars worth of stuff. Yes. I would say yeah. 150 if and if not more. Yeah. That's just my guess because you've got silk ribbon, silk threads, beads, charms, buttons, linen patterns. You know, so so many things in there that yeah. it may be worth your while to pay for the extra or what you consider expensive for, yeah, postage. That's right. Anyway, yeah. we're going to make it so that it looks like it's twenty dollars because that's what you paid for it. So I don't think your duty and customs will be, will be that, that much, high either. Yes. So there's a thought. Ah, uh, Dorothy, yes, I know. <laughs> you <Yeah>. certainly <laughs> did. And thank you so much for doing that. And we are appreciative. Now we have to make sure that people who are not in Facebook also get a chance Absolutely. to get theirs. Yeah. Luckily, everyone on Facebook were had the chance way before mm -hmm. we ran out. So mm -hmm. that is good. Okay, so that was it this week. Yep. Is that all you did this week, was basically try to keep up with orders? It seems like it. <laughs> orders and yeah, yeah, that's that about is, it. That yeah. is just about yeah, it. Preparing grab bags, you know, then, yeah. I'm uh, Kathy Bird ordered two grab bags. Those are pretty common, mm -hmm. and thank you for doing that too, Kathy. I have to say, I've been putting stuff in little plastic bags that you have to open because they're like um, Ziploc type it, bags, yes. right? Yeah. And so you have to open, and this hand, because I told you this long time ago, that I couldn't stitch as much anymore because the hand has been holding fabric mm -hmm. for so long that it's got repetitive stress injury around the thumb. Okay, well opening those bags is like <laughs> really hard. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now I've got my sore thumb back again. Lynn says, thanks, I didn't realize the content was worth so much. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. And it is something I may put in the, um, the uh, 
no, email. Absolutely. Because Next it time. makes total sense yeah. that you think it's too expensive for $20, for yeah. sure. It's probably $20 plus. Yeah. Yeah, we're selling them for 20 but the actual value is much, much more. Yeah, and that's only because, you know, we love everyone who's been our customers, mm -hmm. and we want them to have our brand new stash if, yeah. they, um, if they're interested. Okay, so we've got some models. We do. We have some Christmas models, yeah. actually. It looks like you've got only Christmas models. No, no, we have no. one here. Yeah. This is not a Christmas model, but it's one we have not shown for the very longest the time. time. Oh, no, I had it the yeah, other way around already. Right way. Yeah, but you got to hold it because... Yeah, unfortunately, there was some damage when this box was dropped. But it is a beautiful box. You can yeah. see right here. And it was dropped, but the actual box is a music box. It came from Sudbury. Yeah. It's got little gold feet on it. You can see the little mechanism underneath. It is gorgeous. But beautiful I'm, mahogany color. Exactly. So I'm holding it so that it doesn't fall apart mm -hmm. while you're watching it or watching, looking at it. So this pattern is in Heirloom so, Memories, right? Well, no, no. It's a separate one. It's called Precious Memories. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's a separate pattern. Yeah. Okay. And so this was taken from Heirloom Memories. It was. And if you can't get the Angel of them anymore, which is most likely, because mm -hmm. there are so many charms and buttons that you can get that would look gorgeous there. Exactly. And I think there is also um, a diagram to do a Rhodes Heart. Oh. in place of the um, charm as well. That would be awesome. You mm -hmm. could even do a large one and two small ones along yeah. the side. Yeah. There's, there's just so many ways to decorate the inside of that. But the mm -hmm. pattern, kind of like a, a wreath. A wreath, oval kind of. Wreath, yeah, oval wreath, yeah. Um, with the words. Mm -hmm. It is a kind of, it's, it is for a memory box. Mm -hmm. So in other words, people have a box um, that's displayed that can have little things like baby's locks. Yeah, um, baby, baby teeth. teeth is for sure. Yeah. Those could be memories. It would be really nice. Some photographs that are dear to you. Mm -hmm. um, what else can you think of that would be um, small enough special, and delicate enough? Special jewelry. Special jewelry in particular, mm -hmm. yes. And they can be displayed really nicely too in that mm -hmm. memory box. Mm -hmm. um, but that was the reason for this because it says precious memories. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it is for someone who's passed away. Yeah. It is, can also be for someone who's graduating. Absolutely. You know, maybe a picture of their graduation. Yeah. With their um, memorabilia that has to do with them um, from what they're graduating. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was one model. Yeah. What else have you? Oh, now it's all Christmas. Now I it's all see Christmas. It. So I want to start with this one. Yeah, sure. And this one's really hard because there's twelve. You remember we talked about having twelve in the bride's box. We never showed you 12 ornaments for the no. bride's box, but I can show you 12 ornaments for the 12 days of Christmas. And it is a, a long, long bell pull. So it starts at the top. Starts at the top. <laughs> two turtle doves, three French hens, four calling birds. It's actually five calling bird. birds. Collie birds. Collie birds. It is not calling. Yeah, they, no. but it's been translated so many times yeah, that to calling birds. It's like it's become yeah. this, you know, yeah. completely different thing. They are. They were collie birds, which in England are blackbirds, which I didn't realize. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there you go. And then five gold rings. Yeah. Six geese. Seven swans. Oops. Eight maids. I love the maids of milking with their cow. It's one of my favorites. And then we got the nine drummers. Yep. Ten pipers. Um, Eleven ladies. And they're dancing though. Don't forget the dancing part. And twelve lords are leaping. Exactly. And they're both obviously dancing at a Christmas feast. And then at the bottom is a little bit hard anger just mm -hmm. so that you can see it. And by the way, this hangs up in my kitchen area. It does. Yes, all year long. Where a rather um, strange place is between two doors, yeah. two door frames, and the the space in between is just perfect mm -hmm. for this long narrow it is, thing. Absolutely, um, which is why I have it there. But it's very far away from the cooking part because yes. I know that you can get this can get greasy. Yes. So anyway, this has been uh, oh here we go. This has been up on my wall for so long. It's like, um, you know, some of the really older um, bell pulls that you can get that have all the sort of story told mm -hmm. or all the birds. Mm -hmm. This is the modern rendition of that. And it's called 12 Days of Christmas. But actually, it's just 12 days, right? That's right. We yeah. didn't have it of Christmas. I don't think it says of Christmas. It could say of Christmas. So are you going to just show these now? Yeah. 
So these are the little ornaments that come with it. And each one is taken from exactly the um, the, the elements in the sampler. So you're going to get all 12 elements. There we go. I'm showing you them one at a time. Look at the, how cute they look. And you're finishing as usual. Each one has a different um, surround, you know, in other words, a different shape. Different shape. Really I, well done. I tried to make the shapes match. Yes, and it makes it interesting for people to um, to see these ornaments. They're not all the same looking. So I just love them. And that took extra time for you to do that. So thank you. It did. Yes, yeah, that was interesting to figure out the shape. And it looks to me, oh, Tammy, yes, you must, must remember. And by the way, next time, what I was thinking of doing for the grab bags, just, I don't know if I can manage this, is to send out an email the day before to watch out for a certain time of the day when we mm -hmm. put them up. Because mm -hmm. it may be another four-hour deal again. Yeah. And yeah. you may, if you can't be there, maybe someone else can order it for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, we feel badly when people say, but I was at work all day. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we started, Sorry. we started at about 11 in the morning and to quit around 3, our time. But we don't know what time it is for people in Australia, for instance. Yeah. They were asleep, for sure. And um, so we want to make sure that you know pretty much what time it will be. And I have a feeling that either very first thing in the morning, which would catch even mm -hmm. Western Australia. Yeah. And also would probably catch some people in Europe, etc. Because that's eight hours later, nine hours, ten hours later. So if I, you know, maybe put everything up at ten. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, at we, six we, in the morning? We did, yes. That, that would, would be better. Because mm -hmm. we did it, I think it was eleven o'clock. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that meant that no one else <laughs> could see it except people in North America. Thank you, Tanya. The holiday bell pull, the 12 days. Dorothy has done it and gave it to her oldest granddaughter. Oh, I hope she likes it. Uh, Loretta says, I leave my 12 days of Christmas up all year. It's also finished as a bell pull. Yeah. Awesome. That's really cool. So, we also have some gingerbread stuff, but we this do. one is you not gingerbread. That one is not gingerbread, mm -hmm. no. We're starting now to show gingerbread models today. And the gingerbread models, as you all know, were really popular. Um, they have st maintained their popularity, but it's not so easy sometimes for people to do the finishing. So those of you who are watching this, don't know this, um, we have at least three pieces on YouTube um, where it shows yeah, absolutely. the shows, finishing shows itself. The finishing, yeah. So yeah. scroll down on my uh, YouTube channel, just go to the channel itself and scroll down and you will find a whole series of finishing videos mm -hmm. that basically should show you at least three models. But yeah, the, um, I think the, the big tree, the house, the tree. And the retreat cottage? Uh, could be the retreat cottage, yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Meanwhile, wanted to show you this one. What's this one called again? Santa's Village. Oh, yes. This is obviously North Pole, which is like North Pole, meaning the Canadian North Pole. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's where Santa really lives. Yeah. <laughs> right? This is Canada's Northland, right? Well, yes, but I think there's also an Alaska uh, town called North Pole. Is there? Yeah. But that's not where this is. No, no. no. This they, is like they, actually they on the They do say that sa that's where Santa comes they from. They say, yeah. the people in, in the United States Probably, say that. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> that would make total sense. But they don't actually know where Santa lives. So this is the place where Santa lives. And since it's got reindeer, I figure it's actually in Norway or someplace. That's true. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. It's Christmas Eve, such a magical night as Santa and reindeer prepare for their flight. His sleigh and, and huge sack filled with more than just toys. They hold love, peace, contentment, and true Christmas joys. And there is Santa preparing. And look, Mrs. Santa is really concerned about him. And Are you going to be okay overnight? <laughs> and is, are you going to be too cold? And he's saying, get away from me, woman. I've got this list here. <laughs> And he's telling all the elves what to do. Good story. Nice story. <laughs> anyway, that's the kind of thing that I love to include in any of my designs. Mm -hmm. It's a story. That's kind of a story that yeah. goes with it. Ah, do we carry the white thread for the snow in the back? I wonder if we actually still have some white 
packs available online. No, no. Is all, everything sold? All the white packs are all gone. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah we don't have any silk. Um, uh, this is what we use, but you can mm -hmm. use white silk. White Bori silk would be fine. Two strands. Um, uh, or needle point can, ink has a white that would work. It's beautiful too, the needle point yeah. ink, but it's not as bright. So if it isn't Mori white, I would suggest that you could just go with the DMC. DMC. Yeah, and grab it now before Christmas. Trust me. It, yeah. It'll be gone before mm -hmm. Christmas. Uh, so there you go, Patricia. Okay. This is one now, right? Yep. This is the first one. And it's the <laughs> gingerbread stitching house. Sorry. I'm just going to there balance go. that on top. Yeah. This actually was really, <laughs> really not done very well. You can sort of see the gap still there. It, exactly. And I think in the pattern, we kind of made the where you see the V, more of a curve. Yes, which was perfect. Which was perfect and it fit on there. But it's supposed to be removable and it's supposed to be a pin cushion. Correct. And, and the fabric I chose has a little bit of a swirl on it to make it look like smoke coming it, out. It is. And, you know, it was an idea. Yeah. Not so idea. sure how effective it was. <laughs> That's right. I don't think it, you know, um, showed. I'll just hold it and yeah. turn it while you talk. Exactly. So then if you lift off the roof of this, you have a scissor pocket well, in this part and then felt for your needles. And I'm rotating here so they can see all, all the different it. parts while she's talking about all the stuff inside. Exactly. And then out comes... Oh, there's another one of my scissors. This, yes. Yeah, you forgot about those. <laughs> a little scissor fob which has a over one um, gingerbread man on one side and then you can personalize it. On the other side. I kind of like the gingerbread man. It is really cute. Mm -hmm. However, it takes quite a bit to sew it and or to stitch it on. So you might want to think about using um, a gingerbread um, button, button. Yeah. because they're out there too. Absolutely. And then we have the Biscornu, which I absolutely love. The Biscornu turned out really well because mm -hmm. the buttons along the side here basically help holding it onto this form, which is a Biscornu form yeah. made out of gingerbread uh, colored fabric or li linen, I should say. Yeah, so it has, it has been sewn on or is it embroidered that way? And I think it's embroidered that way. But doesn't it look like it's yeah, been it sewn kind, on? It kind, yes, but they've been attached. What, the only thing that's sewn on is the button in the middle to okay. make the indentation. Well, I get now. I thought for some reason we had another one where you did the whisker new. Beads on the side um, where it was joined? No. You did the Biscornu first, and then oh, we did this, okay. this hard edge yes. square. Was it attached? And laid to it? on top, yeah, and then attached all along no, the edges. No. And for some reason, I thought this was it, but that's not what no, we did that, with this. No, one. that's actually just stitched and then sewn together. And it's stitched with the blanket stitch around the outside, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. blanket blanket stitch makes it look like it's um, literally lying on top of yeah. uh, the, yes. the underneath. Absolutely, part. it looks really good the way it uh, turned out. I'm not as fond of the chimney, but <laughs> the <laughs> I chimney, like everything else. The chimney needs a little bit of work. Actually, why don't we put the chimney inside? Inside? That's a much better then idea. Then it can stay there. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Let's see what else. Then we have this one, which is mm. the gingerbread church. The church is actually um, modeled after my Catholic upbringing. I went to a church for a long time, sang there every Christmas. It was a big deal for me in Holland and as well here. And so I tried to kind of keep in mind that it had to have some kind of construction that would have a spire. Mm -hmm. And because we're working with linen, it's not so easy to make the roof and the spire and all that. But once you've got the pattern, it's not so bad. It actually didn't take too long to Ab finish this one. Absolutely. As you can see, this part is separate and it's just attached in a couple of spots. Yes. And then if you get it down a bit, you'll see the top too. <laughs> that's right. It's quite it's quite tall. Yeah, let's leave it this way, a little bit further away, so you can see the entire thing. The effect is gorgeous. The reason that Lisa has a hard time showing things sometimes is because when it's here, she can't see, I can't see where the I am. monitor. Yeah. And so that's why I often kind of yeah. re-show it. Absolutely. Not because I'm trying to take anything away from you. Oh sure. Head. No. Sure. It's not true. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to have the yeah, full experience. The full experience. Mm -hmm. And here's another gingerbread little building, and this is the flower shop. 
There you go. Can you see that now? I can. Yes. It's not so big. <laughs> the other one was so big. So that, of course, is the back of the flower shop. And then we turn it. And you got some nice flowers. And then we have the front of the shop with all the uh, little buckets of flowers there. And then the side is just uh, uh, the same as the other side. Now, just remember, the sides are actually um, a plethora which is one of my favorite words, a whole bunch of specialty stitches. This yes, was used as a, as a class. Yes, so it was. So in here you will find all the specialty stitches that you could possibly want, particularly knots and silk ribbon uh, things, flowers made of beads. Um, I see some uh, bullion knot flower, that mm -hmm. pink rose. Yeah. Uh, there's queen stitch flowers. Um, anyway, daisy, daisy flowers. Daisy, daisy flowers. So, that's where you get the majority mm -hmm. of the specialty stitches. And because there's specialty stitches in it, it's interesting. Yeah. Try not to think mm -hmm. of it as, oh, this is terribly difficult. This is so challenging. Well, it is a little challenging depending on what you do, but do them one at a time. Yeah. Is the flower shop on um, YouTube? I don't think it is, is it? I don't think the flower mm -hmm. shop is. Well, we'll have to and put it up there. Excuse me again, I seem to have the sneezes today. She's got the sneezes, and you know you get them when you're allergic to stuff. And poor Lisa has had developed more allergies over the last year than she had before. And so every once in a while she has to cough or sneeze or whatever, but she's not sick. I always feel so badly for people who during COVID had to cough or sneeze because of allergies. I mean, everybody yeah. looks at <laughs> it. Went Get away, away from me. <laughs> it went away. <sighs> Marty said she ordered the complete gingerbread mm -hmm. village. Very oh, nice. how wonderful. Yeah, that's going to be one of the ones that is going to be sent to you when we get everything done. Done, yes. So hopefully you'll have the time and the um, inclination to wait. I'm sorry you have to wait a little longer than normal, but it yeah. should all be out by the end of next week. We're yeah. crossing our fingers. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, it says, Dorothy says, I would should say that one family member gets a VS item each year. I'm doing granddaughters now. Oh. And how many mm -hmm. members do you have in your family? Can I yeah. join? <laughs> <laughs> Carol says, what exactly is a Biscornu? Well, actually, the word Biscornu, I think it's French, and it means oddly shaped. Oddly shaped, yes. So that's where the name came from, but it was coined some time ago by mm -hmm. the first people who made a Biscornu. Mm -hmm. And it is a pincushion, or it is a way to display your designs, yeah. your, your stitching. And I've seen collections of very many different mm -hmm. kinds of Biscornu, for instance. But literally, they're meant as a pincushion or an odd-shaped object, mm -hmm. which you can also put up on your tree. Yeah, you can do absolutely. Them, you know, it's just a stuffed object. Yeah. And the cool thing is that if you can consider these two are square, okay? The, yeah. These two hands are square. So when they put, when we usually put two square things together, we do this, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, we put the square together this way. Yeah. Which means that you get this kind of odd Ab shape absolutely. around the outside. Yeah. I hope that helps. Trisha says, small pillows made, oh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> that is good. It's crooked. Good. Thank you very much, Trisha. That's awesome. Um, I don't think there's that. You're welcome, Carol. No problem. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Mm -hmm. We've got some ornaments. And this one, they're called gingerbread quilty ornaments. So one actually is meant to look like a quilt. And it's a ornament that's stretched on four ply mat board. And then on the back, it's just finished with wool felt. Yeah, it's a really easy way to finish really anything. Really easy with some black cording for the hanger. Mm -hmm. That's that one. And then there's a li another little stocking, gingerbread stocking. But this one has a quilter on it. It says one more stitch. One which, more stitch. Which is pretty much the way we uh, finish our Christmas ornaments mm -hmm. just before, you know, the night of Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> Christmas Eve, one more stitch. <laughs> I remember that years ago. That's what we talked about a lot. And uh, that was especially true when we had kids in the house because, you know, you couldn't stitch anything for them while they were there. Yes. So we always had to make sure that we did the stitches late at night. So now we have some little purses. And what yeah. is this called? Is this called little purses? Mini purses. Mini purses. So when you're searching for this pattern, you will see 
that you can get a pattern that has all four of all them four. in. Yeah. And they have various different um, little scenes on them, but they're essentially finished almost exactly the same way. Absolutely. Is there um, a real life, like 100% um, template in and uh, pictured in the leaflet? Do you remember that you did that? I don't think there's actual a template, but you do backstitch around the outside. So that and gives you the shape. Exactly. And then photocopy it and that'll give you the shape. That's good, right? So that you have the shape entirely. Yeah. The little snaps at the top are two rather oval looking beads mm -hmm. that are sewn on one sort of slightly beside the other one. It looks like a snap. I just yeah. love that. That effect has been really awesome. And then all around the outside are tiny, tiny, tiny little beads as we whip stitch this with some white floss. And on the back, I put my name and a whole bunch of snow. Yeah. You can do what you want on the back. Exactly. You and they're, they're all the same. <laughs> Yeah, these patterns were really popular. Oh, and they're, they don't take much time, and they all have really cute little scenes on them. Mm. The Christmas and I, tree. And I think they all have, as a, their further, um, how do you call it, in common, things in common, is I think they also all um, talk about a carol, a Christmas carol. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. Christmas tree, joy to the world, we three kings. Oh, okay. I don't know about peace on earth, but... Yeah. I don't know peace. Carol yeah. that's Peace on Earth, do you? That's probably part of another Carol. Mm, I think so, yes. <laughs> and I think there is there is one more mini, uh, mini purse. Oh, is there? That I have to make into a mini pattern for the website. Oh, nice. Yes. That would be cute. You can do one of them. Um, okay, so are we going to do more? We are. Good heavens, there's a lot here today. There is. Do we have so many that we have to display before Christmas? Well, I think ten. So, Ten. Yeah. Really? So we have, between now and Chris and Christmas, how many um, we weeks be, are there? We might be duplicating some things. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and we can also stop now, if that's okay with you. Oh, well, we could. Would you guess. rather keep going? Well, I wrote down that they're on today's date, but that's okay. We can do them next week. You want to show one of them, though, don't you? Nope. You sure? Yep. I'm good. Okay, because I think that so far we've already shown you so many different models. Mm -hmm. And the models that we've shown you are 12 Days, um, Gingerbread Church, yeah. Gingerbread Flower Shop, Gingerbread House. Oh, no, Stitching Stitch House. house. Uh, Santa's Village. Stitch and Precious Memories. Precious Memories, exactly. And the mini purses and the quilty ornaments. Oh, I forgot about the mini purses and the quilty yeah. ornaments. Oh. See, that's a lot already. Yeah. I think maybe we'll just... Uh, we'll just save the it. other ones till yeah. next time. Yeah, that's good. there'll be some more next time. Yeah. And we do have so many already um, shown that it's going to be fun to show these, the Christmas ones, over mm -hmm. twice, don't mm -hmm. you think? I think Before so. Before Christmas. Absolutely. So um, one thing that I did want to show people is this, this week's mm -hmm. odd auction. auction. Sorry, my brain just went on. Yeah, it went down. Um, it went weird. It, yeah. It faded there. <laughs> um, I want to show you that. And, and what happened here is this was put away very, very carefully. So carefully that Lisa decided that she was going to show all the way that it was hidden away it from us. Away. So we didn't even remember that it was there. It was on the very top, top shelf. And I was just half and going, what the heck is that on that very top shelf? I should have unpackaged it. No, it's fine. It shows yeah. how much we care for yeah. our models. <laughs> This actually is exactly how all the models are stored with acid-free paper, tissue paper. And the reason we do that is because dust can get in, etc. So you know yeah. that any of the auction items that we have uh, offered and will be offering are all protected the same way. This is now called Harbor Village. Harbor Village. Thank you. And the reason I love this is because of the color of the frame. Mm -hmm. Isn't that mm -hmm. beautiful? Mm -hmm. It's so light and just the perfect um, surroundings for the linen that it, this is stitched on. And this says, the peace of the hills is about us and the leisure of the summer clouds is mine. Now we should have actually offered this during the summertime. Yes, but, but since we forgot about it and I just discovered it, it's now the time. It <laughs> is, we have to. This is going to be put on auction and one of the cool things is the little fa uh, sorry, the picnic, the uh, summer picnic that's taking place. Uh, this is kind of like the river that goes into the ocean. 
and of course there's a church there seems to always be a church in some of the little villages that I've ever seen in Europe and in North America and at the top this really reminds me of what it looks like around here with the mountains in the background you can just see some clouds in the background but also there's one mountain right there the mountain top that's still uh, snow covered and uh, that reminds me of uh, what it's like around here although the types of houses I think is more eastern seaboard they don't care yeah. <laughs> it gives me a feeling of being near the water with houses all along and the people in them so this one's going to be put in auction what's this called again summer dreams Har no. harbor village I'm sorry yeah. I'm, I'm lost <laughs> harbor village harbor village so when you see it, we still have to take a picture of it, yeah. so it may not come up until, um, what, a little later on today? A little later on today. Yeah, so yeah. we'll do that. Sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. Put that over there. I should be sorry. Just talking about stuff and I yeah. don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there we go. Uh, uh, Kathy Bird said, I made family members the Kathy Jean oh, Birds nice. as gifts. Mm -hmm. They are lovely. Mm -hmm. In fact, of all of Kathy's um, designs, I think those are my favorite. Yes. And the most popular. And they are. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think everyone has a, sort of a love for these small mm -hmm. little birds, birds. the songbirds mm -hmm. in our environment. They are so pretty and some of them are so colorful. Yeah. You know, and some of them are a little shy, like the wren. Anyway, yeah, she did a beautiful job. Very, very carefully um, according to the actual coloring Absolutely. of the birds. Yeah. So that's, I don't blame you, Kathy. I'm glad that you did those. And finally, we have our Stitch Along finished mm -hmm. for September. Those of you who didn't actually download all of the patterns that one time, I let them all go. <laughs> um, you will see them. And this is what uh, Thursday, I think this is, th yeah, Thursday looks yeah. like. And of course, there's going to be um, on the back, you will see Thursday now pictured as well. But as you can see, it's kind of like um, pictured in two parts. Yeah. So the top yeah. part here is that that grayed out section is the same as the bottom two um, squares here um, at the bottom of uh, the first section here. So this is going to be your stitch along pattern for this week. Mm -hmm. And then I think this coming week, this is the 23rd. It is. Are we going to be on the 30th? Are we going to be doing October? Or are we going to start October then or the week after? I think we should start it the week after. I think I'll just check and see how much time and energy I can do mm -hmm. with my foot up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the thing is that I, don't, I can't sit like this for very long. No, exactly. I have to actually go upstairs now and put my foot above my heart for at least half an hour or yeah. maybe an hour to compensate for all of the time that I'm sitting here yeah. with all the blood rushing down to my feet and, and you know, swelling up my foot. Exactly. And it wouldn't look <sighs> so very boring. nice to have your foot up that way, right? Yeah. No, it's huh. also really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if I put it up here, I would really look you, really you weird. You would be sitting a little <laughs> odd, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be leaning on you. <laughs> Anyway, thank uh -huh. you so much. And Norma says, um, no, that's beautiful. I own that pattern. I need to start stitching it. I love the color of the fabric that it's stitched on rather than the rue green called for in the pattern. I think we I put it on um, Confederate gray. Uh, it could be ice blue. It doesn't look like ice blue. I think somehow. that one's a little lighter. It, it looks like Confederate gray to me. It's got that kind of teal look. We're going to find yeah, out what we did that out. one on, but, but I think yeah, we did it on that. Confederate gray would work. Ice blue would work. All, what, See, what I, I think put, that, that one over there is ice blue. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That one is, but this yeah, one I think That one could confederate. be confederate gray. Have a so, great weekend to you mm -hmm. too, Loretta. You anticipated me as yeah. usual. <laughs> You're the first one to say have a great weekend, yeah. and we really agree with that. Hopefully everyone else here will have a great weekend also. I know I will. I will too. And yeah. we're going to have to rest up this weekend, both yeah. she and I, yeah. because it was a tough and hard weekend or week so far. It was. And yeah. next week we've got a lot more work to Absolutely. do on the um, on grab the bags, bags yeah. and on the printing. Uh, I mean, the the leaflets have to be out, yeah. and so and then all the shipping that needs to be done. So we're going to take a couple of days yeah. and just rest up. Absolutely. I hope you do too. Yeah. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next Friday. See you next Friday. Bye bye.